Welcome to Speaking of Sports. I'm your host, Jared Slack. This week we're going to go over the uh, MLB All-Star Game, and then we're going to have some fun. I want to give you my top five, pl- five, five players, one for every position, to make up the greatest NBA team ever created, past and present. Make sure to keep in mind, this isn't a uh, who's greater between LeBron and Jordan, because they play different positions. I also want to take in consideration that certain players in basketball might not have been as effective in uh, other areas. First off, let me ask you, how many players do you think right now in this era would make the top five greatest team? Some people might say one or two players from this era would make it on a top five roster of all time. Uh, The best two players in the league right now are uh, LeBron James and Kevin Durant. But they play the same position, so they can't be on this the same team. And uh, you can you can make an argument that uh, Steph Curry d- deserves to be up there. He might be a top five player in the league right now. But I think you can make an argument that he deserves to be on that all time roster. First, we're going to start off at point guard. Uh, some say the greatest ever play that position would be Magic Johnson, and. He was he was great at what he did. He uh, he knew the game very well, and uh, but I didn't get to see him very much, so I, I wouldn't really know how he did. But somebody that you might, might be able to put up there would be Steph Curry, because in his in his era he is in right now, he puts up forty percent of his three three points. Who do you know back then could do that? So, um, if you were to put Magic in Steph's position and Steph in Magic's position, who do you think would be better and more effective in that era? And I think you could make a good argument that Steph would be better. So, I think that Steph would be my point guard for a top five roster. Going to shooting guard, obviously it's Michael Jordan, but um, in second place is Kobe Bryant. He's always going to get the short end of the stick. He was a great player, hard worker but he's always going to be behind MJ, and there's no question about that one. And you got a small forward. you got a few very great people that have played this position. you got LeBron James, who is my favorite player, and he is up there at my number one pick. And then you got uh, Larry Bird, who is also a great player. He uh, he changed the game in his in his era. He, he, was, he was just an overall great player. you also got Kevin Durant, who... Uh, Right now in this era, he would be second place in my book. But uh, I say LeBron first, and then you got uh, Larry Bird and Kevin Durant right there tied for second. Then you got power forward. You got a lot of people as their number one. They have Tim Duncan. You also got Dirk. uh, And then then you got Charles Barkley and Kevin Garnett. They're all really great players. And it's hard to pick a number one for those because every single one is has their own special thing to do. Um, but my favorite, and I think my top um, power forward would be Dirk Nowinski. He deserves everything he got. He was a great player. He worked his butt off to get what what he got. And uh, I think my power forward is going to be Dirk. At center, you got the uh, all-time leading scorer, Akeem Abdul-Jabbar. You got Wilt Chamberlain, you got Bill Russell, and you got Shaquille O'Neal. Now, how do you pick between those four? I mean, it's nearly impossible. You got the greatest scorer of all time versus uh, maybe Shaq, the most dominant player of all time. I've heard a lot of people say if you were to play one game and have that person in their prime, they would pick Shaq because he could control a game more than anyone. And I think that is why my pick would be Shaq. And here is the starting lineup for the greatest team that's ever been assembled. At point guard, you got Steph Curry. At shooting guard, of course, you got uh, Michael Jordan. Small forward, you got LeBron. Power forward, you got Dirk. And uh, center, you got Shaq. This is my starting lineup for the greatest team that's ever been invented. If you think you can do better, please drop a comment below and give me your opinion. Now we're on to baseball. 
the MLB All Star Game was held on Tuesday night. The American League won it for the seventh straight year. Texas Rangers own Joey Gallo hits a home run. They ended up being the winning run. He had one plate appearance. He saw one pitch, and he put it in the right field bleachers. Unfortunately, Joey Gallo didn't come up with the MVP of the game. Uh, who did come up with the MVP was uh, Shane Bieber. He's the pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. He, he just pitched one inning, but he struck out the side, and he had a very good game. All right, guys, that's it for this week. If you have any sports-related questions, please comment below or direct message me personally. Also, make sure to leave your top five players if you think that your team can beat mine. Thank you for listening and speaking of sports. I've been your host, Jared Slack. Join me next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central Time on the Mute Mogul Media YouTube Network. <laughs>